I'm going to do, what I want to do now is I want to do some cleanup work of my data source. Um, a lot of times when you're working on your app like this, uh, you will eventually get to a point to where you've got one set of records and another set of records that are derivatives of they're like copies of the other ones. Um, and what happens if I add a column over here and I added a column over there and I want all of the records to match. So I have product A and I've got five versions of product A over here. I want the price that I set for this to go to all of those over there. How do you fill, how do you fix the database? How do you fill in the blanks like that? This is how you do it. Actions. Um, actions, you can use automations to kick it off too. So the first thing we gotta really do though, is we need to create the action that we need that will set the values we're looking for. So what are we doing? So we go to behavior, we go here. Um, it lives on, I'm trying to update the customer product. Um, the thing that I want to do is I want to set the product type and I want to set the product cost to whatever the linked corresponding uh, thing is over there. You with me? Uh, so I come in here and I say product link dot. So this is the type from the products. So I'm just creating an action that's pulling in whatever values are used from the blueprint table, which is what this product table is. And I'm just making one action to where when I press it, it'll copy those values over. Give this a name, set um, customer product. I cannot type today. Details from product. Yes. Okay, I don't need to see it. It's a system thing and I'm gonna leave it a dumb action so that I can just kick it off and call it good. Okay, so this, this is like part one of what you need to do. This is the thing that actually makes the change to the database that we want to happen. Um, so the idea then is I wanna take that action that I just made and I want to run that on every record in the customer product table. First though, we're talking about taking data from the products and moving it into the customer products. First, I gotta make sure that the data in the products table is actually what it's supposed to be. Do you know what I mean? Like right now, I believe it's all empty. So first, so part one, you know, probably should have done that first. I need to fill in all of this stuff. And so this is where like, yeah, I'm just gonna do all that gibberish. Some of these prices are nuts. Like look at this, whatever, Whatever category one product number six, yeah, it's $4,800 by itself. It's an expensive product. Um, now I need to set some uh, values for the types. So I'm gonna set most of these to per item. So I'm gonna go copy my value, paste it in here, copy it, copy it down. All right, but like I wanna change some of these to per weight, just a few of them. Um, so, okay, let, let's do, let's change this to like 1.22 and I'll make product number one and product number 20 all per weight. That way I, it's easy to remember for me so I can pick it out, right? Okay. So now that these have values, what I want to do is I want to copy all of these over to the, um, the customer products. And that's what this action will accomplish. Now I need the bit that will run this action on all of those. So that's a different action that I have to create. I'll leave this open so that we can easily find it again. So I'm going to make a new action. It's going to live on the customer products table. And it's going to say it's one of these execute an action on a set of rows. The rows I want to update are the customer products, it's the same table. The rows, the actual list of rows that I want is every record in the table. So I'm just going to come over here, copy the name and copy the ID and do a simple table call of all the IDs right there. So that gets you every value. It's essentially the same thing of coming over here to the Google sheet and saying, select the whole column minus the header, right? That's what you're doing there. Do that and then run 
set customer product detail from product, that action that I just made. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a name, ref update all customer products. Okay, so now that's part two. Uh, I now have the action that actually runs the update on all of the records. So now I didn't need to run that action that I just made, this ref update all customer products. I need to run this, but I do not wanna run this inside my app. Like I don't wanna push that button in the app because how many records do you have in that other table? I don't wanna do that in the app. That means I gotta sit there and wait for all of that to process. There is thankfully a hack that you can do to make, to like run this immediately through automation. And you can literally run it with a push button. It's through a scheduled bot, right? So if you schedule a bot, there's a button available up at the top to run the scheduled bot. So I can create it, schedule it for who cares, make it to where it's saved, and then just run it. That's, that's the idea here. So I've got this ref update. So I'll go to automation. I'm gonna come over here. Um, it doesn't even matter what any of these things are called. You know what I mean? Like I'm just gonna put gibberish everywhere because it literally doesn't matter what this, I'm gonna delete this as soon as I'm done running it. The important bits, right? Over here, you gotta make sure it's scheduled. The actual scheduled stuff, doesn't matter. Make sure it's for each uh, for each row in this table is turned on and then select the appropriate table that we're talking about. Okay, that's the setup that you need, right? I just need it to be scheduled for every row in the table for whatever table. Okay, now the task that I need to do, doesn't matter what it's named, it needs to be this run a data action. And you guessed it, it's that action that I made, ref update, all whatever whatnots. Okay, that's it. Save this so that it propagates through the system. And now check it out. That run button is totally available Totally available for me to run. And so like, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some dual screen stuff here. And so I've got the customer products here open, right? And you see, I've got some values in here, but I changed everything. They're different over there. And these are obviously all empty. So when I run this, by pressing that run button, you see it's going, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking, boom, done. You see how fast that was? And all of them are updated. All of them have the appropriate, um, the appropriate values inside them. It, yep, it looks like this, like this one's the probably, if I look, product 20, yep. And the other one, the 1 1.22 is product number one, right? And you can see uh, it's still sitting here thinking that it's processing, but it's done because we can come in here and we can look, right? Booyah, that is how fast and how easy it is to run a mass update action on all of your records using automation so that it doesn't take you forever to sync. Happy days. Ha, 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 ha.